All right, today what we're going to do is we're going to install Docker on our Windows and we're going to use the WSL2 method and we're just going to follow the instructions on the um, Docker um, page. But instead of reading all through this, I'm just going to show you how to do it really quick. So if that sounds good, stay tuned. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to install WSL. So I opened up um, PowerShell and we're going to install it. So it's just going to be real simple. We're just going to do WSL and then I'm going to do dash dash and I'm going to do install. And then um, I'm going to install it with um, Ubuntu. Um, you can put Debian in there if you want. Um, I'm just doing um, Ubuntu. And this should download like the server version of it. Or not. What did I do wrong? Oh, I gotta put a dash D there. All right, so now um, we have it up there and we hit yes. And then it's gonna ask us questions and we hit yes. <clears throat> and then the only thing this is gonna do is gonna install the uh, Windows subsystems for Linux and it's going to install Ubuntu. So um, I'm not gonna make you watch this. I'm just going to skip ahead. All right, um, before I reboot, just a Ran right. Um, this is the command right here that we ran, which is the dash D um, Ubuntu. Um, I just wanted to highlight in case you missed that I had to add the dash D in there. Another thing I want to show you is that, you know, if we do the um, list um, online command, it would actually show us different distros that we can um, run on this. All right, so reboot time. All right, so now that we reboot it, what we want to do is go back to the Docker pages and then we'll hit Docker Desktop for Windows. And we will go ahead and install that. And then once this is done downloading, which is a pretty quick download, we'll go ahead and we can run that. So now that it's downloaded, I'll just open up the file to run it. And it's going to ask me if I want to run it. I'm just going to say yes. And I'm going to move this installer over to the screen just so we can see it. And we want to make sure that this WSL2, instead of Hyper-V, we want to make sure that box is checked. Now, you can run this in Hyper-V if you want to, but um, I'm doing the W. Um, SL2 method, so I'm going to keep that box there checked, so that's very important. So we'll just hit OK, and then this just your typical install, and um, I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so we have this Docker application right here. Um, once it's installed, um, I'm going to go ahead and reboot, and then we'll come back and um, open it up. All right, so what we're going to end up doing is now that we rebooted, we're going to go back up here. We're going to test our Docker container out. We're going to do that by running hello world. And we see the Docker pull hello world is the command to pull it down. So we'll just go ahead and copy this because we want to make sure that everything's working correctly. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the um, Docker desktop. What we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to type in Ubuntu. <clears throat> And then we're going to have our terminal right here. And we can just run Docker pull hello world. So we run that and it pulls it um, from the container repo and it's saying it's up to date. So the next thing we want to do is we want to run it. So if we go down here, it will tell you that it's just Docker run hello world. So I'm just going to come back over here, and then I'm just going to change the pool to run. And then if I look at it, it says, hello from Docker. This message shows your installation appears to be working correctly. So we have all that in there. And that's it. So if I close this out, I can see that I have the Docker container right here. Um, the image is hello world. And that's pretty much it, how we set this up, and we'll be going over some more Docker stuff, you know, later on, but for now, I'm just going to call it a day.